I've had my Intex pool set up for about a week now, and today I'm gonna install this multicolor LED waterfall. The waterfall comes with the valve that you need to switch it back and forth from the inlet jet to the waterfall and the hose that connects from the waterfall to this valve. And if you have one of the smaller inlet jets that comes with the smaller pools, this is to attach that valve to that inlet. So I've turned off the pump and I've closed both of the plunger valves, and I'm gonna take off this inlet jet. Then I'm gonna take this plug turned inward and plug that little jet nozzle so that the water doesn't leak through as I'm replacing that valve on the outside. I'm just gonna stick that jet right back on the outside. And you're gonna take your waterfall and set it on that frame. You want it to sit just to the left of the inlet valve. The hose that it comes with is really short, so you want the hose to be able to easily connect to the valve that it comes with make sure that these are turned the right way so that they clamp on to that side of the frame and just tighten these until you have a snug fit. So next I'm gonna disconnect this hose from the inlet plunger valve. Then I'm gonna unscrew this plunger valve from the inlet nozzle. You wanna take the valve that came with the fountain and this end is what you're gonna to attach to that inlet jet. Then you have this side that's gonna to connect to the waterfall and this side that's gonna to connect to the hose that connects to the pump. Then you wanna take the hose that came with the waterfall and connect one end to the bottom of the waterfall. I'm gonna connect this hose to the other side of this valve. Then you can take your hose from the pump and reconnect it to the inlet. Now that I have the waterfall set up and I have the valve assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and take the plug out on this inlet jet and I'm gonna open the other plunger valve and I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing leaking before I turn on the pump and I test everything out. Then to switch it from the pool to the waterfall, you wanna turn this all the way upright. It's been a few weeks since I installed this waterfall and so far everything has held up really well. I've not had any problems with any water leaks. There's no water getting inside of the actual waterfall casing. The flow rate on this thing is really great. It moves a lot of water, which creates this really nice water feature sound in the backyard. It is also helping to keep the pool water cooled off, which is nice because it has been in the hundreds here lately. Water does accumulate on the side of the tray over here, which makes it kind of drip down the side. But again, it's not getting inside of the little casing. It's just water accumulation on the edge of the tray dripping down. And another thing that's nice is that the water movement is what actually powers the LED lights. So it's just the power of the water movement from the pump that causes the LED lights to work. And they oscillate between blue, green, and red. And they have this little transition in between, which you can't see very well in the daylight, but I will come back right now and show you what that looks like at night. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in this waterfall, I've got it linked down in the description box for you guys, along with my full Intex Above Ground Pool playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, you can check out one of these videos linked right here.